So here I have the second example which is more or less similar to what we had in the previous example. So here I have the reliability value and I want to find out mean time between failure. So this is just reverse of what we did in the previous example. So here I know that at 1000 hours the reliability of my car is 90%, 0.904. I know that. Then assuming this to follow the exponential distribution. So when I say that exponential distribution, then I immediately come to this formula which is P T is equal to e to the power minus lambda t or e to the power minus t divided by mean time between failure. So this is the formula we will be using. Now how do I find out mean time between failure when I know the probability? Let's put all the values here. So this is the formula and I put the probability as 0 0.904 which I know that and e to the power minus 1000 which is the time t and MTBF divided by MTBF which is something I need to find out. Now solving this might be difficult. It's not easy to solve with the knowledge which we have learned so far. Another concept which I want to tell you now is that if you have e to the power something, let's say e to the power n. If you take natural log of this, natural log of this which is ln will be equal to n. So if you have e to the power n, you take the natural log, this will make this is equal to n which is the power here. So this is something which you need to remember. And this is how we will be doing this using this calculator. So now to solve this equation, what I do is I take the natural log of both sides. So natural log on this side ln of 0 0.904 and ln of this, the natural log of e to the power something will become that something which is minus 1000 divided by mean time between failure. Now we need to find out this natural log ln 0 0.904. How do we find this out and for that also we will be using calculator. So let me use my calculator. So here I want to find out the natural log of 0 0.904. So let me first type 0 0.904. So 0 0.904. So here I have 0 0.904 and you will see that this button which was e to the power x is actually the log button ln button. Now if I press this ln which is the third button without pressing this green one because if I press green one and the, this third button that gives me e to the power x but if I just press this ln this gives me the log value and what is this so let me have a look this is minus 0 0.1009 minus 0 0.1009 so which is here minus 0 0.1009. I have just kept three digits here. So minus 0 0.100. So now I can solve this. So first thing I will do is I will remove minus sign from both sides. And now what I will do is empty BF I will take on the other side and 0.1 will go at the bottom of 1000. So 1000 divided by 0.1 will be empty BF is equal to 10,000 hours. So this is how you use this formula when you are given the probability but you want to find out lambda or you want to find out the mean time between failure. So this is how we found out mean time between failure. So this was example number 2. Let's look at one more example in the next video.